gotta be stored gotta be covered gotta be covered because it's going back there so problem is the cover I have is like I don't know maybe just a little too big <laughs> so basically you gotta cut it down because it's supposed to go on that I don't care about that as much as we care about that This is our basic shape it's going to take. Tighten up the bottom. Trim this down. Pinch it up a little bit. Snug fit. Reshape it. Use the extra fabric to double up. The layers make it a two layer slip. This one is uh, not in bad shape. It's not that bad. You can see leaves are starting to fall, and uh, I gotta get this done. So I got most of it pinned off. I took the seam right up to the front. Where the headlight is right down the center. Just pinned it up, kind of tightened her up a little bit. It's not bad. Oh, look at that. Got some snowflakes and then back here once the front's done they just tighten everything up close the back up and then on the front I'm gonna make like from here around I'm gonna make they like, carry the back the bottom of it with another piece coming around Susie homemaker corner here the ducks gonna laugh at me while I'm trying to do this I got my mainly man ball pin sticker thingy so I can take the pins out but anyway so I'm gonna run down this main stretch of pins and this is where it meets right over the headlight so I'm gonna get the front stitched up and get back to you. There we go. There's one. Here. Yellow. I get to center it. 
and start pinning it. Kind of pinned up, ready to make. Got a flap on there, ready to go. Not looking too bad. Right there on the front, in the middle. Right on. Let's do it. What do you think, Ruby? Yeah? Let's go. So far, so good. I'm still in the front. Yeah, I know. It's still a little bit. Right. And then this gets trimmed off. Mm -hmm. And then there's a seam. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be a pocket that goes like around the wheel here. Oh. So this is going to be extended with another piece coming up. So this is a, like that little flat. It's going to get sewn down. This is going to get cleaned up. And then under here, there's going to be, this is going to be like flipped over. Mm -hmm. And a couple of little straps. So we mm -hmm. can just tie this together. Mm -hmm. And that'll hold the whole okay. cover down okay. and on. Cool. So yeah, it's coming along good. Got this ready to go. Nice and kind of straight around the bottom. Nice little pole handle. It fits good so far. Tighten them up a little bit. Create another rib kind of like that. Going from here up to here on each side. Give it a little bit of there. One, here's two, three, four, five, and six. And this area is right where the headlight is. Oh, am I a seamstress? A seamster, that's what it was, right? The seamster? Yeah, Chris. I'm a seamster now. Seamster. Trying to sew these down the middle, make them flat. Like this but the only way to do it is to slide this inside all right and then I just slide it down onto the screwdriver and then when I pull it off it's nice and straight that's the mainly man way of sewing use a big ass fucking screwdriver to straighten it out there we go and then it just goes like that. And it works. I want to straighten it out a little bit. But it works. Yeah. So I got a bunch of the strips made. I got them sewn down the middle, or close to the middle at least, you know. So what I gotta do is just go through and trim these, and then lay them all flat, and so, so, so. So this is what I kind of came up with for the antennas. These are gonna sit over the antenna mass, cut it on an angle. And it should cover and be able to sew it right over the antenna masts. So this is what I came up with. It's just kind of a side, right like that. Yeah, I'm gonna sew one of these strips along the edge, and that's gonna connect it. So we got this one. connects down to this band these get tucked under right there and with that coming down you should be able to just grab it and be able to pull and lift it back off without having to mess with this this one's next right here got another penis pocket to go on it and then the rest of it's looking pretty good the little pocket for the front wheel is giving it plenty of room to turn so 
sound good. It's looking good. It's starting to get there. I got one of them sewed on. This is the one on the left side. So it's gonna rain tonight. I gotta get them on. I'm gonna leave the bottom undone. So we'll get them. So I got the penis pockets done for the antenna mounts. Where it comes down around to the seat. It's relieving some stress zones. There's gonna be a patch that goes over here to strengthen. And another penis pouch for the antenna mount. Actually fits pretty good. And then these are gonna get creased, you know, down just like a regular, you know, like that. But then there's gonna be another piece that comes in and goes around this whole part to you know, not only make it look good, but this this piece here is just for the windshield to rub on. You know what I mean? So it's gonna wear through this one. But the one we put over the top is going to be the good looking part, right? Just like Larry. Right, Doc? Hey, it's going to be good looking. Hi, so I'm trying to get the sewing finished on the thing, and it was wet out and raining. So I had to make me a, a balloon. See that patch right here? This is where the back seat rests. This is the wear patch for the back seat. These are the antenna penis pockets. This is the very back. Yeah, so this is the front where the front windshield is. This is that flap that goes over the top of the windshield right there. Those are the ribs I gotta sew down. It's friggin' huge. Looks like a big old friggin' fat something or other. I don't know. Like one of those Halloween costumes that's got the fan in it and you walk around. Cover is getting there. Got this done. I'm getting the patch on the top done. Got the strengthening band done. Got this strengthening band done. I got the seat kind of double layer done seam going down the back the two pockets for the antennas and this is the last part right there fold it over sew it around all right peoples here we are gotta get her done jimmy's final stage on his gold wing cover that he's fabricated and designed i'm a seamster he's a seamster now so Basically what I'm doing is this is the windshield uh, cover right over the top of the windshield where it rubs. I doubled up on it so I got to put the strip around it and then I'm finishing up just the straight runs making sure everything's done the little bits and right here where That's the seat, this is where the seat rests yep. right there where we doubled up on the back of the seat. And that's the the, the penis pocket the that penis goes pockets, over the antenna. Yeah. Penis we call that the penis pocket. Penis pocket. One on each side. Yeah, penis pockets. Yep. Kind of keep it straight a little bit. It's hard to see the edge. There we are, up to the windshield cover. And then give it a reverse. Yeah. And then I get to go up the other side. Do it all over again. So you get the gist of it. My hand's getting tired, so yeah. I don't think we need to record no. all of it. No, but, no. You know? Just give me with the glasses again. Yep. I think we're done for now, and we're gonna cut it off at this. And this is Seamster Jim saying, uh, yeah, <laughs> whatever. I'll put something <laughs> on the screen. That. Yep. Yeah, that, that's of course, he'll he'll redo yeah. all the video and everything yeah, and add to I'll it. Put something and, you know, above me, like I'm pointing at the words. You words betcha. I'll put something on the video. <laughs> this is what I meant to say. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okie dokie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, we're back again. Right here on the front. Final stage. Right here. Where I am. This is the part where the windshield hits. You can see that patch. So I'm down to the straps. I just gotta make the corners and the straps. And it should be pretty much done. I'm gonna finish up some of the corners. Yeah, little stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And double check a couple seams and that would be it. Here words. you go, buddy. And whatever I was gonna say, words up there. <laughs> Dr. Seamster. Seamster. Oh. Okay, here we are, the final fit. He thinks he's actually done sewing. So he's putting it on and hopefully this is the final fit and it'll be done. Yeah, for all you Goldwing owners out there, this was a car cover that he converted from, it's taking him a while, but he thinks he's got it finally done. It fits like a glove. It's got Velcro strap, straps on the bottom. That, Keeps it from flapping in the wind, which is a bonus because here in Michigan, the last few days we've had some really strong winds. And it's got a couple <coughs> ties at the back here. Yep. Okay, I got to move around to the back, show you how he's he's got ties down there in the bottom that cinches it up a little bit and tightens it all up. Does his little Boy Scout knot. Yep. Boy <laughs> Scout knot. It's an army knot. Army knot. Army no, knot. that's an army knot. I'm sorry. Army knot. Yeah, he's an army guy. Oh, there we go. There we go. So. Done. What do you think, James? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I think that uh, it fits good. Got a little room up front for the wheel to be turned the other way. There's wide parking. I'll tell you what, he's uh, yep. from from when he started to now. It's uh, been a lot of work, a lot of hours. Long. It's been about three weeks. Yeah, it's been a good three weeks. Yeah, yeah. But now I got to do the good old success. Success. Ah, done. Done.